The meeting of the Black Legion is now in order. My brothers and sisters, I know normally we open with a prayer and a few words from the congregation, but several facts have come to light, and I am outraged tonight. People, we must not tolerate threats from the non-white people of America, the rich scum on top and the lazy scum on the bottom, all the Muslims, communists, Jews, niggers, wetbacks, and faggots who think they're equal to us. We must keep liberty alive. Who likes white people? You know what these Muslims believe in? Destruction of America! That's right. The Koran is their law, not the Holy Bible. No one wants this foreign Muslim to be president. It's like uh, touching a tar, baby. Once you get it, you're stuck. Amen. Amen. Brothers, there's a black cloud hanging over America. And I say, get your guns out. Amen. Grandpa is right. All these blacks on welfare. Huh. Oh, these low lowlifes without getting all this free stuff. I, I don't get any free food or free Medicare or, or free money. We gotta build a wall. You understand me, brothers? We've got to get ready for a civil war. Amen. Amen. This president is not going to take my guns and ammo. God gave me the right to bear arms. If they're gonna come and get me, I'm gonna start killing people. They're gonna have to kill me and my family. Yeah. Now tonight, I want to tell you something we've uncovered. This Muslim Brotherhood is working inside our government, inside our Department of Justice. Our very own congressmen are calling us to action. Thank God, or we wouldn't know where to send the death threats. It's that socialist Marxist president. He's foreign to everything. It's American. He put them there, giving away our hard-earned money. How about ISIS? How about ISIS? Now, Preacher Peterson, lead us in our opening prayer. Loving Heavenly Father, we come to you tonight to ask for your blessing. We ask that you punish those outside forces that try to take away our strong Anglo-Saxon family values. Amen. And we take a moment to bless Legionnaire John, for he has shown great strength. It's been a full year since he prayed away his gay in Christian rehab, which turned him away from a life of homosexuality. Amen. Amen. My wife wants you to have all these. It's her favorite recipe. Molasses, bourbon, Thank you, Johnny. chocolate chips, and walnuts. You're welcome. Thanks, Johnny. 
Thank you, Johnny. Next Sunday is our yearly family and all chapter barbecue. I'm expecting some good rub. <laughs> and again, we've reserved Camp Niggerhead. It was an execution, damn it. Look, a bead came at me and I shot him. All right, now. Did the beating turn into a shooting? Yeah, and I shot him in the face. You shot him in the chest. Yeah, but four times. Look, I love my country, all right? I don't want the Muslims and the niggers overturning it, but you executed him. You knew him personally, and yet executed him. You knew this man? Yeah, but it wasn't your wife he assaulted. <laughs> all right, how, how, did he, how did he know her? At an office party. Oh, and, and then you killed him. Look, he was a Muslim, and he was harassing my wife. You are so full of shit. Look, Chuck, you, you think we're a bunch of Boy Scouts here? We're not killing people. We're killing animals. Hey. Hey. Taylor, as long as you're sure he's dead, job well done. But if he is alive, and you put us all in jeopardy, we're going to have to revoke your membership. Now, come join us for the evening's festivities. Come on, Grandma! Who are you? We are hard-working Americans. Blessed by God. That's who we are. Him, that guy, represents all things dark. He is not one of us. Susan, what are we gonna do with you? You're a real good looking white girl. There's lots of white men that would still want you. My grandson, when he was about six. Why are you doing this? He would ask me, Grandma, why are niggers black? And I would tell him that Adam and Eve had two sons, Cain and Abel. And Cain, with hate in his heart and the seed of the serpent devil in his heart, he murdered his brother Abel. And the Lord didn't approve of that. And so he turned Cain's skin black. And that's how we got niggers. Now, what you have to do is you have to turn yourself around to Jesus. You honestly believe that? That's the most ignorant thing I have ever heard. She doesn't deserve to wear this. I tried, there's just no saving her. Boys, pick them up. Please, this can't be happening, this doesn't happen. Sweetie, I pray you're using birth control. You using it? You know, I pay for your birth control so you can have sex with that guy. It makes your body shut the whole thing down so you don't get pregnant. And if you do, honey, it's just the will of God. You're insane. Who you calling insane? Save your money, sweetie. I'll buy you an aspirin and put that between your knees. <laughs> if you have a problem with me, that's okay. Just let her go. Abdullah, right here in front of all of us, admit you're working for the U.S. State Department, have ties to the Muslim Brotherhood. Yes, I work for the State Department. I'm just one of a thousand. Confess, right here, right now, that you are a terrorist. You'll be permitted to leave the country and take this slut with you. I love this country. Just let her go. Admit you're a terrorist. Let him go. I got this. Stop it, please! Stop it! Calm down. Take a deep breath. Pull the trigger. No. Go on, Terry.
forest. You go first. Shoot me. We're just gonna walk out of here real slow. Last chance. Admit you're a member of the Muslim Brotherhood. I have no idea what you're talking about. Just admit it. Admit you're a terrorist and we'll part ways. I, I don't think this gun even has any bullets in it, son. You believe I am one, and there's nothing I can do about that. Did you really think we were gonna give you a choice? You and this white girl are just gonna have more non-white babies. Just like last year, more darkies in America. More terrorists. More who hate America. You're wrong. You're just a small group of ignorant bastards. Take this slut to the prayer room. Strip her. I want to see what I get for my money. Stop! No, stop, stop, stop crying. What are you crying for? No. No, no. No, 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 don't say anything. I, I don't know. No, I don't know, I don't know. Abid isn't dead, he's alive. When the cops are at my house, what are we gonna do? You're sworn to protect the Legion. You weren't here tonight, you got that? He identified you. You put yourself before us. That's treason. No. Wait. I mean, you gotta stand behind me. I mean, it was, it was self-defense. I mean, I mean, he came at me. It was, it was self-defense. Don't you see that? You're the one that sent me on that raid. So they lead the cops right to us. But you ordered me to go on that night ride. You told me to do it. I didn't tell you to kill somebody. They could identify you. Does your wife know where you are? Yeah, yeah but she dropped me off here. Everybody, get the hell out of here. What am I gonna do? You, you know what needs to be done. I'm sorry. 